What's up, Developing Prospects family? I have one question for you today. Can this increase bat speed? I don't know. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Today we're going to be going over why I truly believe that either this can or cannot increase bat speed, and I'll go over the reasons why or why it can't later in this video. Stay tuned. All right, I know what you guys are thinking. Nobody actually throws their baseball bat when they go up to the plate. While that's correct, that's not what this video is going over. Why I want you guys to stay tuned and not go on to another video today is because I have something interesting that I found out. I took five kids, five students that I have, I took them out to the park, and I had them throw their baseball bat as far as they could. And I had some pretty interesting results. Some of the results that I had is by the end of this, they ended up having an increased bat speed and increased exit velocity. Why that is, well, what I had them do is I had them go out to a park, I had them get in their hitter stance, and I had them take their bat and I had them swing as hard as they could. Now, the cool thing was, if they let go of that bat too early when they were going, that bat flew to left. If they let go of that bat too late, the bat threw the right. For them to actually do this correctly, they had to make sure that they were using their legs, their hips, and their arms. Everything was connected, and they were taking this bat, and when they were letting through, it was connected as far as they could and they had some extra whip going through that ball that increased that bat speed and that exit velocity. Now, once we were done with that, I took them back out. We took some more swings with their normal bat, not throwing it. And what we ended up doing is then we went back to the cages and we took the same exact swings and they increased their exit velocity and their bat speed more of about three out of the five guys three miles an hour off the exit velocity and about five miles per hour on their bat speed. Now everyone's gonna be different. Different kids have different mechanics. Why this makes it such a unique drill is you can go out and do this, it's free. Go out to a park, I recommend don't doing this inside. I know I don't wanna get any messages after this saying my kid took their bat in the house, threw it, and ended up breaking something. This is supposed to be done outside. Now, once we were done with this, I asked the kids if they felt any difference and on all five kids that did this drill, they all said the same thing to me. Wow, Coach Shane, I really feel like I was swinging harder. And when I ended up hitting the baseballs in the cages, the balls were going further and it just felt more natural. And now that's the cool thing about this drill. You're getting instant feedback. And we talk about this a lot on this channel. Instant feedback is huge for the kids again. They were taking this and they were trying to throw it as far as they could by letting it go, getting the extra bat speed. And what they noticed is, you know, if they can throw it further and further and further, they were doing something right in their swing. They were either using more legs, they were grounded into the ground more, their bat speed, by the time they got into the zone, they were whipping that bat around. If that bat ended up going that way or that way, they knew that something was wrong. And again, that works when we get out to the field. It's the same thing. When you have an at bat, you pop a ball up. There was something that went wrong in that bat, bat for you to pop that ball up, roll that ball over, Again, it's instant feedback. You guys at this point should understand why you're doing something and you're getting the results for a specific reason. So now I'm gonna go over how you guys can actually do this outside. I talked about it briefly. Let's actually jump into it and show you guys live what this looks like. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna throw this bat, I'm gonna throw it right over the camera. I trust myself enough, I've done this enough time to where I know I'm not gonna hit that camera, but I want you guys to see what it's like to have a good swing when you throw that bat versus a bad swing. So we're gonna start off with the good swing first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get in our stance. I don't care how we do it. If we have a leg kick, that's fine. If we go here and we let it go, I want you guys to get as natural as you can. I want you guys to feel loose. The stiffer you are, the not as far it's gonna go. So I'm gonna show you guys an angle from the front and from the back, and let's see the difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna feel nice and loose, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this bat go, and I'm gonna try to get as much as I can to my legs and utilize everything that I have in my body and let that bat go. So what live it's going to look like is this. Incorrectly. So I showed you guys what it looks like incorrectly, and I show you guys what it looks like correctly. My goal for you guys is I want you guys to go out to the park. I want you guys to try this about 15 times. Get out there. Like I said, if you're letting it go too early, it's going to fly the opposite way. If you let it go too late, 
it's gonna fly to your pole side, whatever your lefty or righty. If you do this correctly, you're gonna get up there and you're gonna throw it directly as far as you can up the middle. Now, as you start feeling yourself and as you start getting more adjusted into this drill, the further that bat goes, you were doing something correct. Whether it was your legs, your arms are more connected. Remember those little things that you're doing that makes that bat go further and take that same adjustment into your batting practice. Let's see if that makes a difference. Now, I hope you guys got something out of this video today. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, so you guys get notified anytime we put out more content. If you guys like these baseball videos, we're gonna keep putting more videos out. Hope you guys stay tuned for more baseball videos coming up. Keep developing prospects.